What is your name? Dan. Sorry. Dan. I'm on the phone. Dan. Dan is sponsor. Just to show you. Are you good? Just name understanding. Yeah. You are. Goal. No goal. Goal. No goal. I don't know. I don't know this. Okay. Yes. I make him do this. No. No. That's so confusing. Don't say anything. But you should know. I know. Let's go. That's good. Thank you. Then yeah, I got this. Thank you, Gora. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm streaming to you live from the IQA World Cup in Richmond, Virginia. We have Canada versus La France uh, playing here on pitch three. Um, we, uh, we've done what we can to make this live stream happen. And uh, so I wanna apologize in advance for the quality. I'll do my best to provide updates for you live. And I wanna provide a large thank you to all of our IQA volunteers for facilitating this live stream. We have France with the ball. France keeper running down the middle of the pitch. It's an interception from Canadian chaser, number 44. Running it up the field, makes a, a pass to the to the right wing, to the Canadian keeper, who zips it through the far right hoop, and that's going to be 10-0 for Canada. This is one of our lower bracket matches. Um, hopefully, time and weather permitting, whoever wins this game will go on to play for fifth place. Of course, there have been uh, significant weather delays uh, due to lightning storms here in Richmond, Virginia, but we've been uh, very fortunate again. The amazing collaboration between USQ and IQA have facilitated us to be able to continue to play today. So any, any amount of quad ball is a good amount of quad ball. We have the France chasers passing it up uh, at the top of the keeper zone here. Um, and an amazing move from number 29 on France. Does a shot that just goes a little bit too high off of the middle hoop. Um, and it's going to be Canada's ball. Canada uh, chaser, uh, Anna Nikolai. I do also want to apologize. I understand that there is an incorrect scoreboard here. Um, I will do my best to narrate the score. Um, so we do have... Uh, we do have Canada versus France here. The scoreboard that is appearing here is not correct. Uh, but a great dunk through the middle hoop from... No, no, no. Uh, apologies, folks. Just one moment here. Sit on. No, no, don't worry about it. When that game is done, can you get him to come here? So there's no runner sign. But wait. Yeah. 
Later. You guys said you could figure it out. Apologies, folks. Uh, there is, I, I am aware that there is an incorrect scoreboard appearing on the stream here, um, but I will do my best to narrate the score for you. We are currently tied at 10 10, uh, France versus Canada. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we see a number of people that are currently tuning in to the France Canada match. The, the score is tied at 10 10. Uh, and I just want to note that uh, though we do have an incorrect scoreboard appearing on the stream, uh, we've just made this stream possible so that the many fans at home could watch and, and partake in an amazing game of quad ball. It looks like we do have a card for um, number 96 beater on Canada, Nate Unrau. Be ready, they're fast breaking. Be ready to go in. We have Canada with no dodgeballs in hand. France has the quaffle, and uh, the France keeper, number 21, looks to be preparing to make a fast break. But uh, Jeremy Burroughs Balka, number 44 on Canada, wraps up France and slows down the fast break. Um, it's going to be no goal, but number 25 on France picks up the loose rebound and shoots it through. That's going to be 20 10 for France. We have both beaters from Canada back in the game. Peters, where are you? Attack! 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 Oh. And it looks like there's going to be a card here on the play. Uh, number seven chaser on Canada uh, set, attempting to set a hard screen for um, attempting to set a hard screen on the fast break and uh, took a took a large hit there. Uh, so we are just navigating away from the injury, um, but uh, uh, we seem to have we we do have some people uh, looking after the injured Canadian player so uh, the score is 2010 the score is 2010 for France There will be a penalty on this play. Um, it'll be a penalty on France. Uh, I believe it's on the France keeper. It'll be number uh, Nouvelle, who will be receiving a card for that play. Uh, and the call is an illegal charge. And uh, we, the injured player is back on her feet is being uh, carried uh, in the arms of her assistant coach. There will be a card here for, uh, for the uh, illegal contact. Uh, and so Nouvelle, number 29, will spend uh, one minute in a box or will uh, be in the box until Canada scores. Most likely we will see a volleyball turnover as a result of this card. Um, And some great sportsmanship here between France and Canada. Um, this is a full contact sport. Injuries do happen, but we're always happy to see players shake hands and, and shake the rest off afterwards. Play is now resumed. Um, Canada keeper with the volleyball. Okay, okay, okay. 
And uh, France, France returns the play here. Some frustration from the Canada bench uh, and some calls for uh, for potentially another injury here. But um, the score we have is 30-10 for France. Um, and we are going to be seeing an injury sub for the Canadian keeper. So once again, the score is 30-10 for France in this France versus Canada match. Can I get game time, please? 3.58, we're at 3 minutes and 58 seconds of game time. And we were just seeing some officials deliberating to determine if uh, perhaps there was a penalty on the play. We still have uh, a France player in the box. <laughs> and we have a call that there are 35 seconds left in Nouvelle's penalty. Uh, early, an early uh, game here. We're still under five minutes of game time. Um, and it's been a heavy hitting game. Um, and hopefully that's a sign of the level of competition that we can expect to see from these two teams. We have Canada keeper returning from an off broom, retrieving the volleyball and walking it up the pitch. Keeper to Chaser, Salahini, number 33, runs it up. And the France keeper retrieves, retrieves it. And that's going to be another fast break goal for France. The score is 40-10 for France. Canada keeper returns uh, with uh, their chaser, number four, Haley Yap. Yes, Elsie! Unfortunately, that's going to be a turnover on the play, but uh, the France keeper collects the volleyball, tries to fall, throw a long pass uh, to the deep uh, France chaser, but Canada's keeper easily picks that off. The score is 40-10. Uh, le score c'est 40 uh, pour les francophones um, qui sont ici avec moi aujourd'hui. C'est 40 pour la France. And France with another turnover and a fast break goal sends it through the hoop. The score is now 50-10 for France. And I'll get a time check here for folks on the stream. We are at five minutes and 54 seconds of game time. And we, we have a Canada timeout. I think this timeout will be much needed. It will help the team reset here. Um, they've gotten up, uh, France has gotten up to a very early lead, some very impressive fast break goals. Uh, we've seen France really likes to run the ball. That's what they've been doing all weekend long. They do it very well. Um, and fr uh, Canada is really going to have to make some adjustments so that they can return um, and uh, really set up on defense. That has been uh, some something of a priority of theirs for most of this tournament, but they don't seem to be finding their defense here in this game. 30 seconds! There are 30 seconds left in the timeout. And it's a whistle from our head referee for players to return. France is, of course, going to be looking to continue what they've been doing best, uh, which is run the ball, score as much as they can, 
Canada looking to find their defensive strategy, lock in and, and prevent those fast break goals that has been France's trademark for these first five minutes of, of time. The score is 50-10, c'est 50 10 pour la France. Um, et le temps, ça fait uh, six minutes, six, about six minutes of game time. Just leave, leave her. Oh, that's not ours. Understood. Understood. All right, in Canada, uh, uh, with the quaffle now, and they do not, with the volleyball now, rather, and they do not have dodgeball control. Um, but they will be looking to uh, to get control here now. And uh, that's going to be another turnover for Canada. Um, the Canadian chaser tries to wrap it up. It's a great midfield stop from Canada, prevents the fast break. Um, and uh, the Canadian keeper makes a successful block. And it looks like Canada has regained uh, dodgeball control from that skirmish. The reset for Canada has been used. They are not able to reset the volleyball on this possession. And that's going to be a goal for Canada. The score is now 50-10, 50-20 rather, 50-20 for Canada. Um, and it's still a game here, folks. Uh, we still have a game here. We're still well under 10 minutes. We're at exactly 7 uh, minutes and 26 seconds of game time. We are within 30 here, uh, within 30 points, so we definitely have a game on our hands. And Nouvelle, uh, Nouvelle uh, throws it deep to their keeper. Um, a, a great attempted wrap from uh, the Canadian chaser Vercher, Wyatt. And Canada, re, uh, with, a, with a successful stop, regains the possession. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, play up. Work with Aaron, Stevie, work with Aaron. Go up high, you can switch to Anna. Switch to Anna. Switch to Anna. The other Anna. It's going to be a turnover for Canada. Um, but uh, Canada does have a dodgeball back there, but there are no uh, volleyball defenders back there. Um, it, France is just outrunning this Canadian team. The score is 60-20 for France. And Canada is going to be looking to make, uh, make use of this uh, dodgeball control here. And once again, a midfield turnover, but uh, the beater, Aaron McCready on Canada, was waiting for that. Canadian keeper, seeing no dodgeballs in their way, makes a move, but the France... France keeper makes a big hit, but uh, the Canadian keeper was able to release the dodgeball, uh, release the volleyball in time. We have a, a stop on the play here. Yes, the, the, t the score is currently 60-20 for France. And there is uh, nine minutes and 25 seconds of game time that have passed so far. We are getting another yellow card for France. It's been an extremely physical game. We've seen France make some heavy hits. Um, and that is part of what has contributed to them being able to hold the score here to 20, even after just 10 minutes of, of game time here. Alex Naftel, Canadian chaser with the volleyball, um, seeing nothing but net here, um, and does have a chaser available to them. But of course, the dunk is the preferred approach. And that brings us to 60-30 for, uh, for France. What's our, what's our time? 9.40. Pardon? 9.40. 9.40 is time. Yeah. We gotta be sprinting back. Yeah. 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 Y
the beaters on France and Canada exchange beats, but it looks like France is regaining uh, control from that skirmish. France looking to run a 1.5. And a great block from the Canadian chaser, Anna Nikolai, using that length to, to prevent the shot to go through the middle hoop. And it looks like there is going to be a call on that play here. Uh, uh, likely on the Canadian keeper. Uh, the, and it looks like the ref is signaling that there may have been some neck contact on that attempt for them to uh, create some space for themselves. C'est une carte jaune pour uh, Darren Bell, a yellow card for Darren Bell um, pour uh, uh, contact uh, above the net, for, for contact above the neck here. Um, so Darren Bell will be serving one minute in the box. Darren, let's go. Darren, let's go. I don't know what happens to you push someone in the chest. Hey, not an easy beat now, so no easy beat. It's uh, 60 30 for France. 10 18. That's all I got. And we're just over 10 minutes of game time. These, these seconds are just trickling by very slowly here. Lots of stoppages, lots of physicality in this match. These are two teams, they both want the win here. They faced some heartbreak, heartbreaking quarterfinal matches. Um, France losing, I believe, to Germany. And uh, Canada losing to the UK earlier today. Um, and so they're both looking to redeem themselves here. Um, and both teams bring size, they bring speed, they bring skill. As a result of that card, the volleyball will turn over to the France chasers and the referees here are just deliberating um, here, ensuring that the calls are being made consistently and fairly. And of course, they're here to keep people safe as, as well as keep the game fair. Um, France keeper with the run up and shot through the hoop that brings the score to 70 30 for France and another stoppage on the play here uh, it is an equipment stoppage uh, so we do have a bludger that has popped a dodgeball that has popped here so we will need to of course replace that uh, the dodgeball's ability to be grabbed and thrown is a critical part of this game. Uh, uh, here. Very grateful to all of you tuning into the live stream uh, uh, and very grateful to our IQA uh, volunteers for making this stream happen. Um, even after... Even after all of the... Um, all of these, as well as our videographers for um, making this game possible um, and making it possible for us to stream it. Um, we know how many people, how many fans at home want to, uh, want to see this game happen. It looks like that goal was called no good, so the score is still 70-30. And the officials are looking to determine uh, who has the possession of the volleyball here. We are at 11 minutes of game time. Lots of frustration here on both sides, but uh, that really just speaks to the passion that both of these teams bring. 11 minutes. Ça fait 11 minutes dans le match. It is 11, 11 minutes of game time here. And it looks like, uh, again, uh, France will be uh, regaining the volleyball after that stoppage, passing it off to their keeper, number 73. France looks to be overloading behind the hoops with two uh, chasers back behind the hoops. 
And it's going to be a wide shot and a reset used uh, for Canada, uh, for France rather. But the France keeper looks to run it again, um, tries to throw a high alley-oop, um, but it goes just wide of, uh, of their receiver's fingers. And so that's going to be another stoppage for Canada. The score is still 70-30 for France. It looks like... It looks like Canada was able to get a, a few rebounds there, a few attempts, but they weren't able to turn that into a goal, so the score is still 70-30. And we have France with the quaffle. France keeper to number 98, Chaser, tries to throw it in, but every uh, Canadian Chaser has tried to wrap up or strip that ball, and that's going to be another stoppage. It does look like we are just doing a quick check here for injury, and we have calls for medics coming to the field. Um, it looks like in, in the attempts to, to make that stop, there may have been some knocks here, but we do see players already getting back to their feet. It's been a, a slog of a match here. But all of the players are on their feet. And some applauses from the bench for players that are returning uh, to their bench after, after some very impressive fighting through contact. Canada keeper with the volleyball. And France looking to create a high press. And it's a dodge from the Canadian chaser. And a great uh, block from France. From France number, uh, chaser number 28. France has dodgeball control. And is going to be running uh, napalm. Uh, we'll be running a 1.5 and a great interception from the uh, Canadian chaser who gets uh, gets that volleyball out of their hands. Uh, a great stop from Canada. We're seeing some um, improvements on defense from Canada. They originally allowed three unreturned goals, but since that their timeout, they've been able to get a few consecutive stops here. Canadian keeper number 18, Andrew Custers with the ball. France's beaters are just everywhere. France's beaters very much dominating this matchup. Can Canadian keeper trying to find uh, something to penetrate through this defense. Not able to do so. We are going to see a stoppage here. We're at 14 minutes and 40 seconds. 14 seconds, my apologies. 14, se 14 minutes, 14 seconds uh, of game time. 14, 14, c'est le temps dans ce jeu. 14, 14. It does look like we will need to um, put a temporary pause on this game. Uh, as there appears to be another risk of a weather delay. Um, so the game will be paused here, 70-30 uh, for France in this France versus Canada match. Please follow the IQA World Cup channels to determine if there will be, uh, when uh, games will resume, uh, but we will be
pausing, uh, pausing games here for the safety of all of our players and volunteers uh, and just managing the ongoing lightning and thunder delays that, that we've been experiencing here. Uh, so thank you for your patience. Um, and uh, please follow uh, the social media accounts, IQA and IQA World Cup. Uh, to get the most up-to-date information regarding weather delays and, and plans for resuming play. So we will be uh, pausing the live stream here. Once again, the score is 70 to 30 for France. We're stopping at just about, just under 15 minutes of game time. Um, and we will, uh, we will uh, hopefully resume very soon. Thank you very much, everyone. Hello everyone, we are happy to be back live at the IQA World Cup in Richmond, Virginia, resuming our uh, very intense uh, match uh, for, uh, between France and Canada. This is likely to be one of our final matches here today. France and Canada coming from uh, quarterfinal losses. Um, the uh, France lost to Germany in their quarterfinal match. Canada lost to England in their quarterfinal match. These two teams are fighting for a tie for fifth place. So whoever wins this match will be moving on. Uh, we'll have tied for fifth place. Whoever loses this match will have tied for seventh. Um, we're very excited to have uh, the game be back on. Uh, when we paused temporarily due to our weather delay, uh, we were paused with France up at, uh, France was tied, uh, sorry, <laughs> France was up at 70 uh, uh, in Canada with a score of 30. And uh, we resume here with the volleyball in Canada's hands. And it looks like we do have a penalty call here. AR seem to both be calling uh, a penalty on France. Um, so uh, we'll see here if, if that is indeed the call. Apologies here as we just get uh, fi uh, our setup finalized. And we just have some officials deliberating on a call here. We saw that the ARs both had hand, two ARs uh, on the on the boundary here had hands up, uh, and they were uh, signaling that there may have been a penalty on for France. Uh, so we're just waiting to determine if uh, if that is indeed the case. The score is 70-30. If the goal is called good, it will be 70-40 for France. We are uh, aware that the scoreboard on uh, this stream is incorrect. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to rectify that. Uh, this is uh, just a, a stream that has been set up in order to have our viewers at home tune in, fans of both uh, uh, l'équipe de la France et l'équipe canadienne. Uh, so if you are a fan of France or of Canada and you are joining us here today, um, then uh, we're very happy to have you with us. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get this game on uh, our live stream pitch. So it looks like there will be a call on the play. Um, the ARs had directed that the penalty was a France penalty, but the penalty was indeed a Canadian penalty. So that'll be a penalty on the Canadian beater. Um, the goal was no good. So uh, the score will remain 70 30 for France. And we do have Kaylee Mendoza, number 23, a beater on Canada in the box. Uh, there is also a France beater in the box, and that was the case 
prior to uh, the weather delay. So the France penalty will uh, expire shortly and then the Canadian penalty will expire uh, within a minute or if France scores. But both teams are playing down a beater right now. Number nine on France, shaking off the tackle, makes a wide pass to the keeper, number 23. A reset, I, I believe, was used here. The France penalty has ended, so they are now returned to full strength. 30. And we... Another uh, lob pass to uh, the deep France chaser. But that uh, pass, uh, but the attempted shot is easily blocked by the Canadian chaser. Canadian chasers here, we can see, um, have uh, quite a bit of height and have been using that to their advantage all tournament long. Six, five, four, three, two, one, you're good. And the Canadian beater has now also been released. An attempted shot from the Canadian keeper, but that gets picked off and blocked uh, by France, number nine, running it down the field, and that's an easy goal for France. And the score is now 80-30 for France. However, we do have dodgeball control with Canada now. Let's hope to see that they are able to use that control um, to make uh, some effective stops and, of course, to put some points on the board here and close the distance between these two teams. It's a low shot attempt from number 36 on Canada, the keeper. Uh, the, the goal, uh, the, uh, the, the volleyball hit the base of the hoops. Uh, and uh, is gathered by the France keeper who makes another shot attempt and that is blocked also by the Canadian keeper and so we have uh, some exchanges happening here great block attempts yeah a beaucoup de bonne défense uh, défense pardon uh, de les deux équipes ici um, de la France et de l'équipe canadienne um, on, on voit ici uh, some very good defense and also some very good offense and that's going to be a goal for Canada. The score is now 80-40, um, but we see... We see some uh, running for the, blood, for the bludgers here. The France keeper has the quaffle in hand. We are at game time, 17 minutes. In two minutes, our snitch runner will be released. We're at 17 minutes, 30 seconds of game time. Score is 80-40 for France. Canada is down four. Nouvelle, number 29, keeper for France uh, with the volleyball. Passes it down low. And there, we have some conflicting calls from the referees here. The ARs made a clear call for no goal. The head referee did call the goal good. So there will be some de deliberation between the head referee and uh, his assistants to confirm whether or not the goal was, uh, will be called good. We are at... Game time, 17 minutes and 40 seconds, approximately. Oh, we, my apologies, we are at 18 minutes of game time. The score is 80, 40 for France. Oh, I don't have one. Oh, if you don't have one, that's all. I don't know. If somebody else has one here. But if not, that's fine. Oh, I don't have one here. Yeah. Officials here determining whether or not the goal will be called good or not. Very diligent officials that we have refereeing this game. 
Uh, I meant come. Oh. I'm gonna set your camera. Off. Absolutely. Okay. Sorry. Come. Would you? Are you asking to come and join me on yeah. this commentating stream? Absolutely. Sure. Join by. I have Christian Barnes here with me today. Uh, Christian Barnes will be our runner for this game. Christian, mm -hmm. how's your tournament been so far? Honestly, African nations came out here. We showed everyone who we were. We did a great job. I, today we ended up beating Norway. Lost to us. Then beat Australia. Great time for us. Amazing. We got to share. It's been such a pleasure watching your team compete here. Um, I think this is a really good game to see France and Canada go. It's been a very tough match yeah. here. Um, a, a number of stoppages. I know that that's been a bit of a trend mm -hmm. uh, throughout this tournament. Yeah. I personally always prefer an officiating crew that prioritizes safety, prioritizes making the right call, but that compounded with de weather delays for sure can create frustrations for both teams, right? Yeah, and I think, you know, sometimes that next level of roughing is just deciding when do you call for an immediate stoppage? When do you send the offending player back to oops and put your hand up, right? Because, you know, advantage plays into it, etc., things like that. Absolutely. And it sometimes seems like it's a stoppage because I need to talk to the HR. For sure. Right? And it's just like we, we want everyone to have fun and play. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, it's a tough uh, balancing act to, to, to walk. Yeah. Um, I know you have like lots of experience, not just officiating generally, but specifically organizing the officials for this tournament, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So. Yeah, MCP definitely did more of the work. I did a lot of like the <laughs> outreach, but for I definitely sure. reached out to a lot of the HRs that I knew would be here, and a lot of the American refs. Yes. Um, just so many of them that are in this area were end up connecting to Team USA. For sure. So here we've just got Canada that got all three balls on the ground and just running straight straight through France, hitting every chaser over there, but France comes away with the ball there, and Aaron McCready, I believe, again, always hustling on that ball. All right, I'll be out here. All right, everyone oh, from home, please wave hello, goodbye to our runner, Christian Barnes. Um, and and uh, in case you missed it, an incredible stoppage. From Canada, an incredible stoppage. The score is 80-40. We are at 19 minutes of game time. And that's going to be a goal for Canada. They are now within range. They are now within range. <laughs> Some chants from the sideline for uh, Soleil Heaney on Canada, uh, scoring off of the beautiful assist from Austin Wallace, and uh, that brings our score to 80-50, which makes this an in-range game. Uh, some questions as to what placement this game is for. This is a consolation match in the lower bracket. Unfortunately, due to the weather delays and a large number of our games, uh, we're not able to be played today. But the winner of this game does tie for fifth place. The loser of this game does tie for seventh. Um, both would be impressive finishes for either team. Um, both teams have made a great showing here. France traveling from an extremely long way to be here. We are at 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Seekers will be released in 20 seconds. Seeking uh, for France, we have number 25, uh, whose name unfortunately I don't have. I don't have a roster in front of me. It looks like we have number 44, Burroughs Balka, um, for Canada. <laughs> And so we have France with the volleyball. And it looks like France also has, has dodgeball control, which is a favorable position to be in right before seekers are released. I will do my best to keep both uh, uh, runner play as well as the volleyball play in range. It is now a 40 point lead for France. It's 90 50. 90 50 for uh, France. And that's going to be a uh, stoppage here. Uh, another feed to Soleil Heaney, who's been uh, wide open for the Canadians, down by the little hoop. Um, but... We're getting a hoop dislodgement card for France. Uh, so that'll be a blue card for number seven, Kelly uh, Mangay. Yeah! 
and Kenya Monge uh, returning back to the pitch. The score is now 90-60. It's a 30-point game. A catch from Canada will tie it. A catch from France wins this game. A great block from uh, the Canadian Chasers. And some amazing beater exchanges here. And it's once again a 40 point lead for France. The score is 100 to 60. And it looks like we've had a catch from France. The score is 164 France. There is a catch. Uh, some heated exchanges here. Some heated exchanges here uh, from both sides. So we are just going to. Uh, Uh, this is a an extremely heated match that we have here. Unfortunately, we had some words exchanged between both benches, and we will have the officials uh, determine here what happens. Yo, could you hold this for a second? Excuse me. Hi, excuse me. Oh no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> 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 All right, so it, the catch is being called no good. Uh, for re The reason provided is that there's been an illegal interaction with the flag runner. There are other uh, inc incidences to determine regarding this play. The score is 100 to 60 for France. Canada currently um, trying to understand what is happening here uh, as a result of the call. We know that the catch was called no good due to an illegal interaction with the snitch. Uh, so the score is 100 to 6, uh, 100 to 60, uh, and game time is 21. Uh, at 25 minutes, there will be a restriction on the runner. So uh, that will be, of course, if the game continues up to 25 minutes. For now, uh, we're just waiting to see whether this game continues or not. Hey, camera, towel. Towel, towel. Wait, I have a towel. You are the towel. I am. 
Thank you to those of you that are tuning in. Um, I know that time zones being what they are, uh, you've all uh, stayed up very late to catch the, the end of this match. Um, of course, we really want to prioritize sportsmanlike conduct here. Speaking Captain Red Card, disrespectful language. A red card is being uh, issued to France for um, unsportsmanlike conduct. That will be a hard time served in the box. Uh, with a red card, a goal scored against France will not allow the player to return to play. The player must serve the full penalty. The penalty will be two minutes and no scoring will negate two minutes with no scoring that will allow them to return to play. So we will have a France player in the box for the entirety of that two minutes. One of the players on the pitch will be serving that penalty on account for the fact that the red card ejects the player from play. So. On the speaking captain. We have uh, some cheers from the crowds for a Canada home crowd. It's been a very chippy game, folks. Both teams coming after extremely tough losses in their quarterfinal games. This means a lot to a lot of people here. Uh, but we're very grateful to all of the athletes for persevering through stoppage after stoppage, through heat breaks and storm breaks. Um, and of course, we're very grateful to the officials for doing their very best to control uh, the game and manage the safety. And that's going to be a goal for Canada. The score is 100 to 70. Canada. Canada continuing to run up the score here, taking advantage of the penalty. And that's going to be another goal for Canada. That's back-to-back -back goals. The score is 100 to 80. A catch from Canada will win the game for them. A catch for France also wins the game for them. Uh, France has been retaining control of the dodgeballs uh, for the entirety of this seeker, run, uh, seeker runner period. Um, France's beaters very dominant here. The score is 100 to 80, and time is 22 minutes. We have France trying to penetrate through the uh, Canadian defense. It looks like uh, there is going to be an advantage call here, and there will be a stoppage on the play. It looks like it will likely be a penalty against Canada. There are four. There are four, 40 seconds remaining in the France uh, red card penalty. So uh, France will continue to play down one person. France will continue to play uh, down one person for 40 seconds, and now we do have a red card penalty against the Canadian chaser uh, for contact from behind. Uh, so France. Uh, regaining the volleyball and that is a goal for France. The score is now 110 to 80 and it's going to be another goal for Canada. They are back within 20. There are 20 seconds remaining in the penalty here and the France seeker getting lots of time with this runner. Ten, nine, eight. And we're getting another stoppage for an equipment breakage. Uh, the broom has been uh, bent as a result of the contact. Uh, so we will need to replace that broom, uh, which we will do so momentarily.
The score is 110 to 90. With we're at 23 minutes of game time and let the officials know because in two minutes it's a restriction. Um, we're just gonna let the ARs here know that we are at 23 minutes. AR, we're at 23 minutes. Please let the runner know. 23. We have a thumbs up from Christian Barnes, multi-talented coach, commentator, now runner. Um, Christian Barnes really doing an incredible job here and a great rap from the Canadian Chaser. It's going to be no goal for France. We are still a 20 point game here. And that's going to be another goal for Canada. The score is now within 10. Canada has closed the gap on this game. It is a 110 to 100. Oh goodness, it looks like we may have a catch here. The score is 110 to 100. If this catch is called good uh, by France, France will win this game. Once again, score is 110 to 100 for France. And we have a potential catch from France. And it looks like the catch has indeed been called good. And that brings this game to an end. The score is 140 to France with the catch, 100 to Canada. And uh, with that, Can uh, Canada ties for seventh place. France ties for fifth place. That will be their, uh, their final rankings here. An amazing performance from Christian Barnes, uh, our runner here. Congratulations to both teams. Encourage you all to stay tuned to our uh, IQA YouTube channel where you will find more live streams for our upcoming gold medal match. Thank you very much.